Welcome back to our Good Friday Appeal Special. There is no more appropriate time than now to acknowledge the work those in the medical profession do more than ever before. They are at the front line, putting the care of others before themselves. The doctors and nurses at the Royal Children's Hospital do exactly that, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. One of those doctors is David Chong, a plastic surgeon who specialises in craniofacial surgery. Here is David's story. What attracted me about plastic surgery was that you could work on all parts of the body and you really seem to make a difference for people. I gravitated towards the face, especially because I always thought, you know, what is it about the face that we assume so much about each other just because of the way that we looked? Every child that I see has been an investment from maybe one year ago, maybe three years ago, maybe five years ago, where I put in, you know, two or three hours of my time and to see this ongoing repercussion of an operation that I did however many years ago and seeing the parents come in and just so happy that their child can live a normal life or as minimally affected as possible by what they were born with is, is, a, is a wonderful feeling and knowing that the family is very happy that they met you and um, that you're part of their lives. You know, as a um, young person, I had the experience of going through prejudice, you know, back in the 70s. It was a different place, Australia. I was very blessed to come to this country, no doubt. Um, but there were people who treated me differently because of the way that I looked. And I always remember that feeling of injustice, that life wasn't fair. Why were these people judging me about something I can do nothing about and actually has nothing to do with who I am? And so when I found an outlet through my chosen career to be able to change that, for children who were born with something that made them different. It was just seemed like such an obvious thing to, to do. And I didn't think of it that way when I chose it, but now I look back at it, I'm like, wow. When I have a part in healing these kids, that somehow I'm actually healing myself. What an attitude. Remarkable work Dr Chong is doing at the Royal Children's Hospital. He's also a volunteer three to four times a year to operate and teach in developing countries.